Programming Initial Controller Setup Before you can operate or program the Light2 system, initial communication needs to be established between the controller and the RC2 handset. This is achieved by connecting the two yellow sensor wires. When connected, the controller sends a signal indicating that it's functional and ready to be identified. Press any button to turn on the RC2 handset. Now press the center button to toggle through the time, date, and software version until the main menu appears displaying six icons. With the up, down, and side to side arrows, you can easily navigate through the intuitive menu choices. Each time an icon is highlighted, a text description appears at the bottom of the display. To identify a controller, select the radio uplink icon. Once connection is established, you can designate an ID and text description for the controller. The text description can be a name, location, or address. You are now ready to program and operate the Light2 system. The Light2 is packed with a versatile range of irrigation features all available at the click of a button. Set up to two programs with four start times per program. Select from several watering frequency options available, including even odd days, specific days, or cyclical operation. Use the budget feature to automatically adjust run times on a monthly basis. Get status reports on various functions of the controller, including history, program changes, and controller functions. The special event off feature allows for any three days of the year to be inactive. Utilizing the month off feature allows any month of the year to be inactive. Set the rain stop for up to 99 days with auto restart. The global stop command will suspend all irrigation programs and shut off all valves within 350 feet of the RC2 handset with auto restart. 